That's only one for me. Ah! Hello again. Uh huh. Hi there. Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, it's in my nose. The race has just begun. We're not quitting anytime soon. No, man. We're going to make a billion episodes. Yeah. <laughs> We're recording. Oh, we are. <laughs> this is how Steve and I talk. <laughs> when, when, We're not going anywhere. We're not going We're here any- to stay. We're going to show them. We're going to show the world. We're not a flash Bros. in the pan. No. We're We're just, real- we just celebrated 50 F- episodes. 50 episodes. Things are going well. Yeah. We take yeah. our hits. Yeah. Some weeks aren't as full as others, yeah. and then others are bigger yeah, victories. Yeah, we keep going and it's going. It's the ebbs and flows of yeah. Scissor Bros. It ain't going nowhere. No way, no yeah. Jose. Whew. Now, we usually start the show with positivity and scissors. We'll get to some scissors in a second. <laughs> but Steve has been dying to tell me this story, and it's not necessarily... It's a real-life thing. It Real life happens, and let's get into it, brother, because I know when something's on your mind. And when you called me and told me about this briefly, you said, I want to talk about it on Scissor Bros first. You guys are getting the exclusive. My friend, take it away. Thanks for the contact, setting it up like that. Yeah. Yeah, I basically had um, a possible apartment flooding. Um, I had seen an allergist, um, you know, because I was coughing because of the seasonal change. He had recommended to get a humidifier. So okay. I went to Target, got a humidifier, uh, Vicks humidifier. How, how expensive is a humidifier? $40, $43, $44. How, did it help your uh, breathing? I, I love it. Really? Is I that one of your it. new things? It's one of my new things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep in mind, you know, at my place, I always have two heaters going simultaneously. It's yeah, always it probably heat. dries you out a little bit. Um, but that had to do with the. Uh, Is that allergies. what the allergist said? Yeah. So that night I was, you know, because you have to fill the water tank with water. Yes. And I noticed, and I used the, the bathroom sink water. And so I had noticed that when I had co- gone back, I'm like, oh, that's weird. There's puddles of water underneath my sink. <coughs> So I'm like, okay, I'll clean it up. Because I had, thought it was due to me filling the humidifier water spilled. tank. You thought you spilled a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But fast forward uh, around 6, 7 in the morning, I came, went back in the bathroom. And I go, oh, there's more water puddle. Underneath your sink, yeah. So I knew that because I hadn't switched it out yet again. <sighs> something like, was up. Something was up. Mm-hmm. So I got on, got on my knees and I, I like attentively looked at, I don't know the words of piping or sink talk or plumbing talk, yeah. but the, ma- the main line pipe going from the wall to the sink was leaking. Ooh. It was like tick, 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 tick. And I'm like, oh, so I look closer because I wanted to, yeah, I like that. I love that. We should do ASMR with that. Okay. Um, so, I kid you not, I barely tapped on it because I wanted to see where it was coming. Where from. it was coming from, and when I did, when I tapped on it, something broke off. It went clink, and then whoosh, it was like a water. Like think of this, you know, like those old school movies, like in New York. It, you know, and it's summertime and the kids mess with the fire hydrant. Yep. And it was like that pressure, but in my bathroom. Oh my goodness. So I'm in my boxer shorts and I'm panicking. Sheath? <laughs> Sheath. <laughs> okay. Shameless plug. Uh, get back into it. I was in my sheath underwear <laughs> getting drenched with wall, just water hose blasting. Yeah. And I'm just like, and I I was screaming, Craig, help, help. Did he come running over? Well, thank God, God, Craig's an angel. Thank God he, he was up playing. He was playing Elden Ring. Or he was playing Warzone. He was watching something because he, 
I don't know what, because because I don't know if you've been in a situation like it was fight or flight. Yeah. I was like, uh, you know, and then because I I because I, I was holding back the water. By the way, that was pointless to do because I I didn't know at the time the the threading the the pipe. It's called galvanized piping. Yeah. The galvanized pipe had broke. Like I, there's no p- latching no it back left. on. No threading. No threading. Yeah. So I, I yeah, Craig came over. Did he come through the wall? <laughs> I just imagine because like the Kool Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> because you told me many episodes Holy ago. Holy moly guacamole. You told here on here many episodes ago that. <laughs> Dude, I, I love that you said that was funny. Go ahead. I like what you're because doing. Because I don't even remember how many episodes ago you said that the way that your place was set up, that there was, there used to be a divider years ago that you guys could go between the places with. And I imagined that, that through the emergency. To, that was to fake out. To fake out the inspectors for zoning purposes. For zoning purposes, to make it seem like we're roommates. So, so you you are correct, and you have a good memory for remembering yeah. that. Yeah. So I imagined him busting through the wall to save you because he is your guardian angel. We all know oh, that. We love Craig. We love we Craig. Freaking love Craig. Yeah. Um, no, I had uh speed dialed him, uh, like I had to leave that, and I'm I'm, I'm already I'm dre- I'm basically I look like I was swimming, so I'm just like ah, come on you know and then i unlocked the door and then i went back to trying to to block are the... you still in your boxers all this whole time i'll get to that yeah i mean we we joked about it you know because well i'll get to that i don't want to i don't want to <laughs> okay, spoil okay, okay. so i'm i'm like he see now he's seeing he's what, seeing how crazy yeah he is. and he just the look on his face like it was like a movie scene him just looking around the corner and like oh and then i'm yelling i go help help like you have to call someone. I don't know what to do. You know, he saw how much. Put it was such a emergency situation where, if we didn't get on it right away, I would have been. It would have been my place would have been a swimming pool. Like, it was that urgent. But check this out. You know my um. Oh, so he gets on. He's like, Hi, I'll call Kara. Yeah, I'll call, I'll call the site manager. And then, but then while this is happening, remember, you know my PO box videos. So I come from the basement. There's yeah. a door, a latch door. Uh huh. Thank God, I. You I, thought of that. I thought of that. Because you pulled the latch and let all the water go into the basement. Exacto mundo. And now, do you have any storage in the basement at all, or is it all dirt down there? That you're bringing up great points. Yeah. There's dirt, but then you know what else is down there? What? Our water heater tanks. So when I already did, the, I didn't have time to think. I'm just like, ah, and then, shh, and then I'm, but I'm thinking while I'm still doing this, yeah, you know, I'm thinking, well, if the water goes down there and fucks with it, I mean, I don't know how that works. Right. So I'm thinking explosion, <laughs> TNT. So you're just anxiety <laughs> panic level on another dimension. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those, it's almost like an outer body experience mm-hmm. where it's this. It's happening. You don't believe this is happening, but it's happening. You can't believe this is happening to I you. I can't believe it's happening. Yeah. It was a nightmare. You pulled a cartoon trap door to collect all the water. Here comes the jokes again. <laughs> here comes the goddamn one-liners. Hey, man, I'm just here okay, to relieve a little. I like what you're doing because you're giving a, a balance. Bit. Yeah. Um, Hey, Steve. Yeah. Hey. Hey, what? Don't you have some dates that you need to read for your tour? Well, we do. Scissor Bros Live is coming to a town near you. April 6th at the San Jose Improv and June 29th at the Ontario Improv. Heck yeah. Hope to see all our siblings there. And I'm doing stand-up comedy this weekend. Where are you going, buddy? I'm just looking at the corner. All right, I'll be in Cincinnati, Ohio this weekend, baby. And then Tuesday, April 12th, stand up on the spot in LA. You're kind of freaking me out, man. Well, I have to commit to it, man. All right, Tuesday, May 17th, stand up on the spot is in New York City. And then Monday, March 21st, this Monday, tune into my new special, Stand Up On The Spot. It's on my YouTube channel for free, youtube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins. Features William Montgomery, CJ Landry, Derek Poston and Avery Moore. It's going to be a great one. 
We love you guys, and let's get back into this episode of Scissor Bros. Yeah. So, you know. He calls the site manager. And guess now, what? Now, did either of you know where your water your water shutoff valves were? You are an ace in the hole today with your questions. You are so on it. You got good sleep last night, didn't you? That's a great question. So, because that was going to bring up my next point. I'm Because I remember in passing from past living in the building i remember the main water line is in the front near the front of the house uh, near the hose and i remember because i remember we've had i remember that so i go it's in the front it's in the front dude you gotta you gotta you gotta turn it off he goes are you sure because he had told me to go into the basement yeah so i mean imagine me in just like dirt yeah dirt and and i'm in the basement i go it's not here i can't i don't know where it is you know and and i go and then i remembered a trick it triggered a memory and now when this was going on this was full steve yelling wasn't it say that again this was full steve yelling wasn't it it was not only yelling it was frantic just urgent yelling yeah it's a red bill morning (laughs) It's a Red Scissor Bull Scissor Poses, morning. sponsored by Red, Red Bull. Bull. And so is this flooded <laughs> story. I could have used a Red Bull during that morning <laughs> to make me block <laughs> off the water flow better. Mm-hmm. Um, what was your next question? Sorry. This just all happened. No, I, I was just oh, curious if you yeah, were yelling yeah, I like at, your, at You're doing at, great at questions, though, because I mean, I'm all over the so place. So, Craig, does he go to the front and turn it off, or did you find it in the front? So, yeah, this ace in the hole, I mean, my buddy just... He was on his. He was. He was on it. Yeah. And he had grabbed a pair of pliers at his place, and I didn't know it. He had left, and he's trying now to turn off the water. Guess what? What? Because of their is it is incom- incompetence incompetence. They did the the the, the lever was broken off. Oh, so they rigged it where you- it was just not working. Ooh, so how did you shut it off? Great question again. So wow <laughs> wow I'm nine for nine right now. <laughs> nine for nine. You're hitting you're hitting home runs. I'm like th- I'm just like he's because Carol's like well, you know uh, yeah is it is it an emergency it's gonna take us forty minutes so I'll send my site guy there or um, a maintenance guy there uh, just hold off she didn't know, she does not know the, the the emergency like the extent of horror that I was dealing with. I mean, she's out in Orange County in her office, whatever, in her apartment. Right. Not care, you know. She cared, but, you know, she's just like 40. She's not experienced. We didn't have 40 minutes, man. Yeah. We had literally 20. Every second mattered. Yeah. Because it was, it was just a lot. I don't think people realize the it wasn't a it was like the blasting of water shooting into my place. It was like it was filling up. Have you ever blown a load that big? And joke number ten, <laughs> home run out the ballpark. Like Jeremiah like, Watkins <laughs> number fourteen. <laughs> He's gonna be playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and I the, mean uh, if I but, haven't. But turned... a girl, but the girl is the one who's like ah. Ah, <laughs> dude, whatever you're doing, you're doing the right thing. Okay. Um, so I'm like, dude, like, either he came up with it, I came. Away, I'm like, fire department, oh, fire department, fire department. Yeah. So, so he called nine one one, uh, and um, relayed him to the Los. Oh, can I give him a shout out? The Los Angeles Fire Department. Of course. Uh, so I want to uh, commend them, uh, the L.A. Fire Department, for showing up uh, really fast. Um, they showed up within seven to eight minutes. Oh, that's amazing. But 20, 20 to 25 minutes had already passed. I'm, can you imagine? Me? I'm Literally, I told... Are you pointing it towards the... I'm directing it towards the hole. How much water had gotten on your floor in the main part of your place? It was it was like a baby pool, brother. I mean, it was filling up, brother. It was filling by up. your bed and everything. No, no, no. None of it was. I mean, that's why I was doing that. Yeah. So it wouldn't go out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But in your bathroom was like a baby pool. Yeah. Yeah. The bathroom. Right. Okay. I and so I, no so nothing touched the Coleman. 
No. Okay, good. Oh my god. Um I I thought about this. The amount of adrenaline that I had, I could have I definitely would have won the the state wrestling tournament. I mean, cuz I was battling nature here. So, when you saw the stream coming at you, did you That was my opponent. Did you envision that it was state from all those years ago in Poway? No, I thought of this afterwards. Because mm. I, I didn't have time to think like that. When yeah. something like that's happening, you're in such shock and disbelief. Like, I can't believe this is happening. Was it hot water or cold water? Cold. Mm. Cold water just blasting in my face. Yeah. Just to pick... Okay, so the first fireman that had walked, just his facial expression was just timeless. It was just like, he went, oh, <laughs> He, the way he was talking it was kind of like just the way he was talking to me was like you're doing a good job son just 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 hang in there. and by the way you're still in your boxers the whole time right i mean we joked about that too you know that those firefighters were laughing about it afterwards oh, they saw a little asian guy a little asian guy in boxers who is covered in wet <laughs> Water, dirt, and mud from scampering around. They probably thought you lived underneath the house and had come up for water and had never seen <laughs> what water Holy. pressure really looked like. Uh, well, yeah. I look ridiculous. Long duck dong, all of it. They're like, dude. Oh, this, is the first, God- this is the first time a duck didn't take to water. Dude, you're just hitting them out the ballpark. <laughs> So then now more firefighters are coming into my place trying to assess the situation. At one point, did you think that a porno was going to be shot in your place? That was a great point. Dude, we are on some ESP. Oh, dude, I'm missing a major detail of the story. Mm-hmm. Before, let's backtrack. Before this all happened, because mm-hmm. I hadn't beat off in a long time. I was preparing to beat off when the pipe thing happened beat right before so oh. i'm like yeah i'm just i'm about to get my my latex glove ready i actually had i actually had my latex glove with my lotion in it out while they <laughs> were there your face look like that out while they were there it no was this still is out? before before it, anything ever happened i was planning on it i'm like i hadn't jerked off in a while you know, this is my wind down period. I'm like, yeah, you know, my sleep meds are kicking in. I'm about to, you know. And what time was this at? Six, seven in the morning. Oh. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to jerk off. I, I, got, I, I had already so put the lotion. So you've been getting good sleep lately. So you've really adjusted your sleep schedule. <laughs> okay. Dude. Really, really happy to hear. <laughs> Don't shake me like this, okay? So This is a traumatic event. So, yeah, I mean, that's where you brought that up because, yeah, it turned from, I wonder what searches am I going to do on Pornhub to, ah, help me. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so all the firefighters are in, and then now, what? Now, had your boner gone down at this point? I didn't even have, yeah, I, I had a semi just thinking about it. I mean, my thing was just a scared little worm. Okay, and, perfect. Uh, yeah, it was okay. the opposite of whatever yeah, of, yeah, yeah arousal yeah it was like oh i'm gonna i'm losing my apartment yeah you know because let me tell you can i can i add to that mm-hmm. while this is happening you know before the firefighters came firefighters came i'm thinking this is it this, this is, is how when you it lose happens. everything this is when it happens did you think you're gonna <laughs> it happens like in these situations did you think you're gonna die no that's good oh no i was fighting for it no i was not gonna you're go fighting down. for your place yeah Okay, so one of the firefighters had the brilliant idea of grabbing their equipment and funneling it into the hole. So th- shout out to him. Oh, they got a proper Because there funnel. was a time when I couldn't even hold on anymore. I'm like... <laughs> it's probably so I'm cold. Yeah. And he goes, hold on, son. Yeah. Okay, on a count of three, let go. One, two, three. And then he like put the, 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 the fire hose to funnel it out. Oh, so thank you. Wow. Firefighter. Um, but that was one of the worst days of my life. It didn't end there because keep in mind, now I have to deal with my site manager. She, it, once she knew what was going on, 
she had a drive from Orange County with her plumber. There's two other uh, freelance plumbers that came, and then her job was to size them up so she doesn't get overcharged. It was a nightmare. Did the fireman ever ask you, like, son, how long have you been held in captivity in this apartment? Like, anything like that? Like, how long have you been living underneath the house? Like, because you're all dirty and wet and everything. No, but they were. There's one guy, the last guy to leave, he was kind of smirking. He was just like, yeah, like because all your new yeah, boxes. Because I'm shivering now. Because they're now telling me the adrenaline's it, gone down. The Everything's adrenaline's gonna gone be down. okay. And now my my neighbor Marcella's in my apartment. Craig's there. Five five firefighters. Are, like oh, so, it's a show. It's so, a show. So it's so a Marcella show. saw you in your boxers. Yeah, but that's just that's like my sister. She's my neighbor. Gotcha. She's my sister. You know. But she she go. But the firefighters gave me permission to to, to dry up. They're like, you could dry up, son. And so I'm just quivering like. <laughs> so how's your weekend <laughs> well, I don't know if it's going to be able to follow that story <laughs> but you had a, you sold some merch you killed your show so you had the opposite experience I had a good weekend yeah, okay. but you know what, what's weird though Yeah. you talking about this plumbing thing no lie today I look up from my bathroom from my bathroom Right by the back door, I look up. Oh, that gave me anxiety. Oh, there's a crack. You don't in, even know what you just did to me. There's a crack in the ceiling, Steve. Oh, Jeremiah. And there's some dirty water that's coming from the ceiling. I'm like, oh no, that's like my neighbor's bathroom, like right above me. You need to hop on that ASAP. The plumber already came today. Can I can I share you share with you some information I learned from this whole process? What? So buildings built before the 1960s, which is my place, which is my place too. Yeah. They they didn't have copper or brass piping back then. It's 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 called galvanized piping like but like shitty yeah. materials yeah. where it it corrodes over time. It's just, you know, it's just not good materials. Yeah. So I think that's what's happening with you. Like uh, some of your piping's deteriorating. Um, it could be problematic too because with that seepage, because I dealt with that too in my, this is my second worst story is that had happened to me where a bubble, a bubble, right. like a ceiling Forms bubble ceiling. formed and it just yeah. started spraying everywhere. So get this. So this is what the plumber told me. He started kind of talking crap on my neighbors to me. He goes, this is what's going on. I looked upstairs. Your neighbors are using their bathtub as a shower. They've converted the bathtub into a shower. They said, now for zoning purposes, if you're going to use that as a shower, we would have to remodel it so we can put tiles on the walls so there's mildew and mold that doesn't build up. And well, I thought they're all meant for showers. No. If it's, if, it's a, if it's a tub like this, they basically got a converter for the faucet so they put it in themselves so do you know what i'm saying wow, they converted it back to a shower makeshift type they did a makeshift thing so then it basically that he said the water's coming down too hard because it, it's built as a bathtub for it to slowly go down so he said it's he goes so we're i'm gonna ask them to stop doing that for a while until we get that situation fixed i was like okay interesting this is homeboy the homies homeboy upstairs yeah okay um i have I, i'm gonna hold back because i oh, don't know yeah, i know so. you're gonna hold back i'm not I gonna say anything because i want to say a lot but i'm not oh right i now. know um so what <laughs> i don't know if they watch this or not what did the plumber say tell me that he said that he's gonna ask them to stop doing that for a while and they said that they would so th now but that doesn't solve the piping problem. There's still galvanized piping there. Oh, I know. In the, he has to look into it in the, in the time and stuff like that. And Did the, you let the landlord know? Yeah, I was on the phone with him today. Yeah. Oh, so we both have been having plumbing issues. Mine, I just happened to catch mine before yours. So it was a good weekend. So uh, <laughs> YouTube.com slash Sister Bros. Patreon.com slash Sister Bros. Yeah. Good Thanks time. for tuning in. Uh, can you tell me about some of your <laughs> show, your experience, your positive experience? You were in uh, Iowa. I was in, uh, well, <laughs> over the weekend, I was in San Francisco, which is really cool. Uh, I was at Cobb's, and that venue's 
huge and there was a lot of scissor siblings that came out so thank you guys for coming out i saw a lot of scissors in the crowd and i even tagged steve in some of the pictures that we took afterwards of us doing scissors after the yeah. show and stuff like that were they wearing the t-shirts and stuff oh yeah they came out and some people were asking already about the new merch that's up right now they were like well, is, do you have any of that i was like not yet it hasn't been shipped out so but. i'm glad you brought that up give them an update on when they're they'll be able to to purchase some of this stuff well our merch is live now that's ready to go so it's up there oh yeah it's on the site it's in the link below it's in the link below if you want to get the new merch uh can we give a shout out to joel again joel stokes artist joel behind stokes, all of our new merch another angel yeah let's come to our rescue yeah. This guy goes above and beyond every time we see him. Yeah. And thanks again to Joel Stokes for, for doing such great art yeah. for us. Yeah, man. Tell me more. Well, um, getting back into San Francisco in a second, uh, I want to do a special, if it's okay, can we do a call to action? Think can about we, it. Oh, no, it's an important one. Go ahead then. On Monday, March 21st, that's this Monday, I'm dropping my next Stand Up On The Spot special on YouTube. I'd really love it for you guys to come and tune in right when it drops. Um, I believe what we're going to do is uh, around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so it'll be like 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, I'll, I'll have the all the info in the description below as well. But I'd love for you to like and comment and share as much as is possible with some of my favorite comics that uh, I picked in Texas that I know. Mm -hmm. It's uh, William Montgomery, C.J. Landry, Derek Poston, and Avery Moore. It's a really good show. It's really fun. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. And it's free. It's a free special. So I hope you where can, enjoy where, it. Where can they view this again? YouTube.com slash Jeremiah Watkins. Um, make sure you share as well because they're able to share if you like it and watch it share the video like it tell tell your friends yeah and share it and that would help yeah uh you we know? i spent the money myself on you on, did yeah on shooting it hired gage to to shoot it and help so me edit it and stuff like that did your you i just did it myself that's how you got it i mean blue collar so I'm, I'm just honestly, I'm just wanting to get it out there. I want these comics that I really believe in. I want yeah, them yeah. seen. Uh, I believe in Stand Up on the Spot as a show. I want it to become like a, a big uh, thing, and I think it has a lot of potential. Can you describe uh, Tell us more about the, the format of that again. Real quick, and then I'll get back into San Francisco because yeah. I don't want you guys to feel like we're overplugging okay, gotcha, stuff. Gotcha. Um, but thank you. You're being very sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, comics go up with no prepared material. Ask the audience for suggestions. And then <laughs> the comics have to create stand up on the spot based off of those audience suggestions. So it's all improv, it's, all in the moment. It's improv. It's all improv. I'm trying to get Steve to do a show at the comedy store because I told him, I said, it's not stand up. And I think he'd actually be really good at it. So comment below as well if you think Steve should do one of my comedy store stand up on the spot shows. I think he should. I, think okay. I, mean, I, think I told you I'm great. open to it. I think you'd be great at it. I told it. you I'm open to it. Every time I've I've thought somebody's going to be great at the show, they always are. And you thought about not toot my own horn, uh, on my own horn, but like I think you'd be really good okay. at the show. Okay, well I told you I was open to it. Okay, we'll um, talk. let's go back to Iowa, uh, San Francisco. Uh -huh. So uh, outside, uh, outside Francisco. of the shows, on the way back, so I went with my wife and and son. Uh, we did like a oh the whole family went. Yeah, yeah, because her family lives up in the bay. Yeah, so we saw her family <laughs> and they came to the shows, and luckily I had a good show in front of her family. Um, but on the way back, we stopped at one of those um, fruit stands, right? Have you and, ever seen those? Like, the, there's signs. It's like, hey, grab oranges here. Grab just strawberries. Just the LA vendors where they have mango and pineapple. I'm talking about on the side of the, the road, road. Like, off of the gravel. Like, literally, off, like off the beaten path. I stopped so, at one of those places so on the way back. So, real legit fruit stand. Wood signs, painted, oh, everything. Oh, my old school. In the middle of nowhere. Old school. Yeah, there was, like, six signs. It's like... That's like, hey, are you sure you you don't want it? And then like another one would be like, six hundred feet away, it's your last chance to get fruit. And I go, you know what? I'm gonna pull over. Let's check this out. We're just on a little adventure. How fresh was the fruit? So fresh. What kind of fruit? Let me tell you what I got. I go in there. There's so many different kinds of fruits. I talk to the fruit stand owner. 
he's kind of a hipster. I've been taken a little bit. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a like an old sweet lady who is running this fruit stand. It's a it's a hipster who knows how to market his fruit stand. Uh, but the fruit was good regardless. But I just imagined something else. I thought it'd be like this backwards old lady that was like, welcome to my yeah. fruit stand. Yeah, like oh, a movie. thank you so much, yeah. sweetie, for coming by. But this guy's like, what do you want? I was like, okay, um, it's a little different than I imagined, but I'll take it. <laughs> That's what he said? He's like, what do you want? And I was like, uh, could I, I guess I'll do some strawberries. He's like, okay, that's $8. I was like, okay, that's a little higher. strawberries? And I was like, a little bit higher than I thought, but I'm already here with my wife and my son. We're already doing it. (laughs) And then um, I go, I saw the sign out front. It said 10 avocados for a dollar. Wait, say that again? 10 avocados for a dollar. That's you, a great deal. It's incredible. Because at Ralph's, uh, for one avocado, it's $1.99. Like, yeah. For a jumbo. I know. Yeah. So get this. So I go, where are they? He goes, there. I pick up the avocados. <laughs> College basketball fans, yeah. join the yeah. action on the court during the biggest yeah. tournament of the year yeah. with DraftKings Sportsbook. Turn your team's victory into your own big win! New customers can bet $5 on any team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. It's that simple. If they win, you You win. win! If Sportsbook isn't available in your state yet, you can still join the College Hoops action with DraftKings Pools. Everyone can play free pools all March long for a shot at a share of over $250,000. $250,000 in prizes, I said. Simply join a pool and answer questions like, who will make it to the next round? And who will hit the most three-pointers? Then track your results. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code SCISSOR. Bet $5 on any college hoops team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. If they win, you win. With promo code SCISSOR this week at DraftKings Sportsbook. 21 over. Restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Swish. 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 (gasps) DraftKings. You know what I'm thinking about, Lionel? What's that, man? Well, you know, I love live events, but I hate buying tickets. Like, the hidden fees suck, and coordinating with friends is a nightmare. And I always end up front of a bunch of money, chasing down my friends to get reimbursed. And if they flake, I'm stuck with the whole goddamn bill. But then we discovered Fanimal. Fanimal, man. Fanimal has tickets to everything, and there are no fees. The price you see is the price you pay. Not only are the prices transparent, but they're almost as lower than anywhere else I look if for any hot ticket like Coachella or a Laker team or Dave Chappelle, Fanimal is always the cheaper option. Huh. Well, nobody goes to live events alone, so why would you buy tickets alone? That just don't make no sense. Hello? Okay? So Fanimal's patented group purchases make it easy. First, you set a minimum size for your group and choose the number of tickets you want to pay for. Yourself? Yeah, yourself. Okay, I mean, that sounds like a good deal there. Then, you invite friends, okay? Driscoll. Landon. Cooter. Larrabee. And, uh... When the minimum size is met, everyone gets charged and receives their ticket. If the minimum size isn't reached in time, nobody gets charged. You don't come in until your friends do. (sighs) That's nice, man. Oh, yeah. And Fanimal has amazing customer service. Now, don't take our word for it, okay? Check out their hundreds of five-star reviews online. The next time you need tickets, go to Fanimal.com and sign up with Scissor Bros for $20 off credit toward your first purchase, man. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Check out Fanimal and experience Brilliant. more. Woo! <laughs> this big. They're like little peanuts. <laughs> he goes, those are the 10 for a dollar. I was like... These are avocados? I've never seen avocados <laughs> so in my they're life. they're miniature? They're minis. They're mini. I've never seen I've a miniature been avocado. Had, Steve. I've been had by the marketing. I'm already there. And I think literally everybody else who stops sees that avocado sign. And then they are disappointed. And they're like, well, we're already here. So. They have to commit to it. Yeah. So they're little walnuts. Oh, yeah. They're the size of a walnut. They're, they're a little bigger than a walnut. They were so tiny. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, oh, yeah. Uh, what? False advertising. Such Shame false on you. advertising. Fruit, Such fruit false stand advertising. guy. Shame on yeah. you. False advertising. Continue. Yeah. 
But we got it. They're great strawberries. We fed my son strawberries. He was really happy. So that's the only fruit you got. What other fruits did they have? We got strawberries, avocados, and we got this uh, uh, bag of like... uh, like Takis that were like Mexican Takis, like a brand that I'd never tried. There was like Flaming Hot Limon and they're really good. Oh, they had like little... They had like a, also snacks there too. Oh, cool. Yeah. It was le- way less backwoods than I thought it was going to be. It was like way more commercial. I'm yeah. Like, oh, okay, well. How much fruit did he actually have? A lot of... He had a lot. He had a lot. He had a lot. Yeah. So he had probably had a strawberry farm somewhere. Or some connection. Yeah. 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 What do you say we do some scissors? <laughs> Okay. Cleanse some. Okay. Cleanse some of that flooding energy from the yeah. room. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. What do you say, man? Yeah. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, two three, four, five, five six, six, fifty, seven, seven no, eight. eight. We just did nine. nine ten, ten. We just did fifty for the 11, fifty. For 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 13, 14. 14 15, 15, are you doing it with us? 16. 16 feel better. 17, 17 18. 19 and 20. Oh, I feel so grateful. Do you know afterwards, I just, I felt so like grateful. Like, oh, thank you. I have an apartment. I still have my place. And I just feel, I felt grace. Yeah. I was feeling very grateful this weekend. We just celebrated 50 episodes and I was eating, I got Thai food with my wife uh, on Sunday night. And I was like, I was eating it. And like, you know, we ordered it and... It's expensive to Uber Eats stuff, you what know. Kind of, we try kind, not to do it wait, very from often. Wait, Thai Town or what? Yeah, this is like right down the street. Tarong? I don't remember the okay. name, but yeah. But um, I was just feeling grateful. Like I was like, hey, we're eating. Th- we we paid for this Thai food. I just did shows in San Francisco where Scissor Siblings were coming out to see it. I just felt grateful. You know what I mean? Felt yeah. like good. I was like eating it. It was really good. I was like, man, this is good life food. is good. Man. Yeah. Oh, the ch- can I can I compliment you with the chicken meal you got me? Oh, I introduced you to Dave's Hot Chicken. Shout out to Dave's Hot Chicken. The best chicken, the hot... Man, I cooked up... You got me a full meal, man. I cooked up a, a whole pot of rice, man. I was eating that thing, and when I bit into it, oh. the spice. Ooh, the marination. The flavor's amazing. Marination. And yeah. I'm like, oh, I, I remember the Steve, how much he likes chicken wings and stuff, and I was like, well, you yeah. got to try hot chicken from Dave's. It's it so was good, man. good. Yeah. Oh, and they added pickles. You know I they love... They had pickles on the side. You know we love a Not pickles. only that, you know what else was in there? Uh. A side of macaroni and cheese. Oh, I know you like that yeah, too. Yeah, thank you. That yeah. was a great meal. I was looking forward to that meal. You're like, oh, we got you one too. Yeah. I go, you got me a whole meal? He was like, yeah. Yeah. And then that was great. Yeah. So Dave's Hot Chicken on Fairfax. Yeah, they've got a bunch of locations around LA. They do? Mm-hmm. Is it a chain? Yeah, it's a small chain. Oh, they're doing good, huh? Yeah. Now, what style is that? We'll get off it's the It's called two. Nash, hot, hot Nashville Chicken. Nashville that's, Hot that's Chicken. The, marin- uh, the flavors. I know, it's good. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Mm. I stood on a frozen lake. In Iowa? Uh-huh. Can you tell me where <laughs> not you're Demo- Des Moines? Ow. Terrence, what do you do that for? Terrence just cut me with the scissors, man. Are you okay? We doing all right? My apologies, yeah. dear friend. Oh, okay. You did run all into All right, sorry. I thought. No, oh, you're right. Defense. It's my fault. I ran into it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, is that near um Iowa University or uh Iowa no, State? No, this was actually Arnold's Park, Iowa. It's almost near Minnesota. It's like three hours from the border. Oh. It's like really. It's up there. What was the weather cold. shock like? It was so cold. Like, what were you wearing? Like. Because we're used to Cali weather. I packed accordingly, but I went out with a couple comics I was working with on the show. (coughs) Uh, And we went out on this frozen lake where there were cars on the lake as well. Cars on the lake. I got some footage. Tyler, how much These guys just got fucking ice creams. 10 degrees out. It's 10 degrees outside. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Don't hate. It's really good. (laughs) Wow. Truly out in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty though. Look. It's a small town in Iowa. About to do a show in Okaboji area. The Arnold's Park, Iowa area. But yeah, this is a very small town right here. This is so crazy. So if you see this right here, I'm standing right now on a frozen lake in Iowa. 
Look, that's frozen water behind us. This is Matt and Tyler. Look at this. See this? This is legit. This is this is scary to me. Like this is this is scary. Me even having a foot on this ice right here. Ten feet of water underneath here. Ten feet of water? Yeah, probably. Woo! Woohoo! You see this? This is so wild to me because I've seen so many movies where people whoa where they fall like that. Oh my goodness! Look at this. This is nuts. This is crazy. Very pretty out on this lake. I've never, I never thought I would walk on a frozen lake. What? Dude, don't freaking mess with me right now. Don't say watch out for that crack, dude. Good grief. Having fun in Iowa. That reminds me. I uh, got footage of my new humidifier that I wanted to show you. You took footage of the humidifier, like, I working? I just want to take, I was, I like, because I've never bought one, but I took a little clip. You took it. a little clip? You want to check it out? Oh, I'd love to. Look, Jeremiah, I have my own humidifier I got at Target to help with my allergies. See? I got rid of that heater that I kept on 24-7-365. Now, I'm, I'm purifying the air with my humidifier. YouTube.com slash Shizzabros. Patreon.com slash Shizzabros. Love you guys and gals. Didn't you say you had a dream? Yes, I did. And I You wrote... said it was a weird dream, but I understand because this is kind of a traumatic yeah, experience I had a we- I've had. been having a weird week, man. Um, I wrote it down. Can I share some of it with you? Yeah. Because uh, I wrote... Uh, usually I do dream vlogs. Yeah. We're right after I wake up. But you wrote this one down. I had to write this one down because I'm like, dude, I, I, what does that mean? Can I just write you what I wrote on my index card? Yep. Okay, so this is uh, Steve's Bad Dream Snake Bite. Um, I was sitting in a, like a living room area. I don't know what whose living room. My brother Bobby was with me sitting in a chair, like kind of like how you're sitting. I was sitting on the ground. Okay. Okay. Out of nowhere... Um, an eastern green mamba snake bit uh just came up and i knew because i looked up what kind of snake it looked like and it it was definitely an eastern green mamba and these are poisonous snakes yeah um bit me on my right like right here so it had latched on like like this and and bit me with its fangs and i was just like ah you know (laughs) i've had a rough week ah even in my dream world I was like ah you know and I was trying to and it would not let go so um when it finally released its grip the bite marks you know what they look like what do you remember as a kid like in high school or middle school like the scantron test yeah the ovals that's what it looked like two ovals yeah Mm. and I because I illustrated them right here weird like this what do you think that means I think I can tell you right away what I think it means. <laughs> think of, really, because that was quick. Your response is quick. I want you no, to as soon think as you it sa- out. As soon as you said that you were bit by a snake. A green mamba snake. I know. I don't think that, this, that the significance of the snake is right. important to the dream. Uh, because I think that it's just a visual. I don't Q. know why it was green. Maybe it could have something to do with how that seeped into your subconscious. I think, have you ever heard of the term being snake snake bitten? Yeah. I think you've had a lot of bad luck this week. So I think that that's, that snake represents all the bad luck that you've had this week, and that's why you had that dream. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I think that the, the, the snake, and then eventually you shook it off, and you got rid of it. Because this happened before the water Ooh. incident. So it was foreshadowing what was to come. That's interesting. And I had shaken it off. And I was shaking off the water, too. Yeah. Did I just perfectly interpret Steve's dream? I uh, think you have I another calling. So. You think you could be a dream interpreter. Green, mama snake.
Good job. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey, did you want to sing something? Yeah, since I'm I'm in the mood. Yeah, let's do it like let's do like a flooding song or something. You get it going. Okay. We're Come. making this up, by the way, on the spot. Okay. This is the improv. Can I start it off? Flooding in my bathroom Water Spraying out Out of the wall I had a react Very quickly I could not stall the fire fighters saw me naked bad to Water blasting in my bathroom My site manager ignored my call I had to react quickly and I could not stall That was a sweet, sweet that was solo real. from that Stevie. Was real. That was it was real. It was real. I just let you go on that one. I didn't even jump in. There were some feelings that came pouring out in my brother over there. I was holding that in. Oh, wow. You deserve a Korean barbecue meal. Can I treat you out What? Sometime? What do you mean? I just feel like, I think I want, you know, you it's mean? time. Why did you say that? I don't know. I just feel like, uh. I feel like real grateful that you know we made fifty episodes. We we're working good to you know we're we're both working hard, and I feel like you you deserve a few meals. <laughs> well, I'm you you more know more than I'm a always, few meals, uh, more you, than a few. You meals. know, I'm always down to hang and and go grab food. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a minute. It's been a minute since you and I did something that wasn't just with the podcast. So it'd be good to, to, for us to do yeah, that. Yeah, but you know? we are linking up. So I mean, we're. Pe- Behind the scenes, people don't realize like how much we really like. You're coming over. We're constantly doing ads. Or yeah. We're doing, yeah. So we're about to get into <laughs> this challenge right now, right here in this episode. Um. Uh. Now for the challenge this week, it's a pretty innocent challenge, but there's a good twist on it that will be painful and fun to watch. Uh, so I think you guys are really gonna like the challenge. That's a side note. Next week's episode, we did a special episode. We'll tell you right now. Uh, we did it uh, with our pals Zach Ass and Vinny from What the Fudge. Shout out to both of them. We love both of them. We love them both. Mm-hmm. It's a great episode uh, that's going to be next week. We didn't want to put two guest episodes back to back weeks, uh, but for the challenge that one, we did a really gnarly challenge uh, for that uh, episode that will be next week. That the just the challenge will live on patreon because we keep getting flagged and demonetized if you get flagged too many times on youtube it will literally they'll literally delete your channel okay that's the only reason that we're doing that we're not trying to force you guys into any patreon thing it's not a cash grab or anything we just want to let you guys know that we love you and we are super grateful for (coughs) everything that you the support that you guys show us whether it's merch just watching even if you're a consistent liker or commenter and you're putting out good vibes all that counts and we appreciate all that so we just want to give that disclaimer like it's not a thing that's going to be consistent like oh the challenges are all moving to patreon we're only going to do it every once in a while when there are too gnarly where we know for a fact that it will get flagged yeah so we just want to put that out thanks for sharing that yeah yeah but without further ado i think we should get into this week's challenge it's living right here right now 
on the YouTube channel because I think it's a fun, silly one that I think that will be a good one. The challenge this week is the wasabi cracker challenge. We're going to prepare wasabi crackers, saltine crackers. Whoever could eat the most wasabi saltine crackers in under two minutes wins. The loser has to. You want to do the punishment? Because Brush we both their know. teeth with the wasabi. Steve got a couple toothbrushes. We want to really capitalize on the wasabi this week since Andrew Santino did not participate. He put it in his mouth for just a second. We're going to show him how it's really done. Now we're going to prep some crackers with wasabi. This is somewhat similar to our old challenge that we did forever ago. It was a hot sauce challenge that we did with saltines. It was one of people's favorites. This is a very different kind of heat than hot sauce. It goes, uh, it's much more of a head and nasal heat than a tongue heat. Yes. Uh, so therefore, I think the reactions are going to be very different. And I think that we should just get into it. What do you say we prep right now? Absolutely. Let's do it. All righty. We have evenly distributed the wasabi. Steve did them both for us, so it'd be evenly distributed. Uh, you have to completely consume the crackers. In under two minutes. In under two minutes to see how many. We both have 16 crackers. Count them up. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Yep. I have 16. You have, I have 16. 16. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you have to completely consume Swallow. it. Swallow. Swallow it for I it can't to be done. Monk, mate. I can't you can't chip, chipmunk. You can't chipmunk. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we're going to start it. We're just going to get wait, into wait, it. Wait. It's two minutes. Two minutes. And the loser has to brush their teeth with wasabi. Yep. Uh, do you want to count down? Yep. Are you ready? Wait, hold up. We'll so both have the first one ready. Is this legal? Yep. Okay. We'll both have it. You ready? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi! <laughs> you have a bigger mouth. Mm -hmm. That's only one for me. Ah! Hello again. Uh huh. Hi there. Oh, nice to see you. Oh, it's in my nose. Oh, what do you I'm at. And then it's number five. Oh. 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 Hey, you can try this at home. It is safe. Kids ask an adult about it, though. Make sure your mom or dad wants to get you to do it with this hobby. What's the time? Right, 114. Oh my god. I still hurt in the nose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what's that? One fifty. Five seconds. <sighs> Last one. Okay, so uh, can I count? <coughs> can I count? Can you count? Can I count yours? Can I go over there and count yours? Technically, <coughs> huh? if, I, if I'm being honest, huh? the one in my mouth wasn't swallowed by the time this ended. Thanks for thanks for your honesty. Thanks for your honesty. So that you doc got docked one. I got docked one. So 10. ten. So I ate six. I have twelve left. <coughs> uh, is your nose running? Yeah. You won. Good job. <laughs> Dude, that one hurts. 
So, tell me the punishment again. <laughs> you have to brush your teeth with wasabi. What, that, what does that mean, though? It means... Be squir- more detailed. I'm that. squirting it. <coughs> I'm squirting You're it. You're squirting on, it on my toothbrush. On your toothbrush. It, and you have to... I can't use water. It's uh-uh. just raw... Was, it's a raw wasabi. Uh-huh. On my teeth. All the teeth. Gums. Gum. Tongue. You didn't say that detailed of that, what? like the tongue. When you brush your teeth, gums. do you not do you not no, put I just it get in my there? teeth, brother? Oh, uh, maybe I maybe I should. Let you fall out. Well, I don't do it properly. Well, but you gotta at least brush I'm, your teeth. I'm, I'm fair game. If you want me to do my gums, my tongue, yeah. my tonsils, yeah. whatever you want to throw in yeah. there, go ahead. Okay, I do. Okay, so you're gonna set up my toothbrush kit. Yep. Okay. It ain't crest. Oh God. I'm just can I give you some backstory to this? I've never done this. I've never watched. You've never brushed your teeth. I've never brushed my teeth with wasabi. I've oh. brushed my teeth. Oh, you have? They were not with wasabi. You ready? Yeah. How long are you doing it for? Two minutes? A minute, dude. I mean, dude, I know, have, I know, I know, I know. Have some compassion. A minute. 30 seconds? A minute. I'm timing this then. No, I'm timing it. Well, how do I know you're not going over a minute? I'm not, because I'm loyal to the soil, brother. <sighs> okay, so you, you then then you 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 set it up. All right. Steve's, you count down from five though. Steve is gonna brush his teeth. <coughs> Steve is gonna brush his teeth with wasabi for sixty seconds in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. oh my goodness. It looks so gross. Oh. How are, how are Steve's teeth wider after the wasabi? <laughs> how are, are those. Oh, Steve puts on wasabi on his teeth, though. They're also the teeth whiteners for him. Don't do it, you You got. 15 seconds left, brother. Oh. Do the tongue. Do the tongue. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's a minute. That's a minute. How bad was that one? Yeah, you look. Here, get some Red Bull. Get some Red Bull. Swallow it. You're not spinning it out. Oh, oh that was a big was swallow. Oof. Oh, the, it burns, man. Yeah. <laughs> it burns. Yeah, it burns. man. It burns. All right. What a fun podcast, man. Right. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, congratulations. <laughs> you won. Thank you. Uh, can I? Go for the rebel. Could I drink water? If you want. Uh, How are you feeling? Uh, I always remembered my scissor bro having uh having my back with a lot of these challenges. Hmm. Interesting. Here's what I'll do. I'm just letting you know it's not that bad. It's gross and it burns and whatever and all that. But do you think if you would have you've just, always been fair game? You've been a good sport. Do you, think, do you think that if you would have just eaten a cracker with more wasabi on it, that it would have been more painful than that brush? Oh no, the brush you feel. I mean, I still feel it. But that's if you're my brother. That's if you're really my scissor brother. But you go. I mean, that's for your up to your interpretation. If you want to get involved with this. And kind of be you, by my side. You know the day that I stopped with the solidarity? After the Scissor Bros live show. Do you, remember, do you remember what you said? Do you remember what you said? Why don't you refresh their memory then? All right, let's play that spot. clip. What's, what do you mean solidarity? There ain't no fucking solidarity here, dude. All right. That was a gruesome game.
That's what you said. Oh, you set me up. Solidarity? There ain't no solidarity here. You said something like that. That's, that's what you, I meant. What you did, just did right there, you planned that just now. Oh, yeah. You planned that. You walked right into my hand. Huh? You walked right into my hand. Look at these goddamn boogers. I don't care. I see your boogers every single time I see you. I, that ain't no that ain't no new thing, Chuck. That ain't no new thing, Chuck. All right, good job. <laughs> You're the guy. Good job. I'm the guy. Yeah. What you? Uh, let's let's roll on out with the great outro song. It's your turn. Let me. Can I play? And you we sing? haven't even done a dance break, brother. Yeah, okay, I'll do a dance break. Good job. You earned it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a wasabi dance break. <laughs> What are you do? Wasabi dance break. Here we go. Do you want a little bit more? I'll do a wasabi toothbrush. You ready? Yeah. All right. Ready? This yeah, is a wasabi I'll, hold dance up, break. Hold up, hold up. I'll, do the, I'll do it with the cracker too to get the visual. Here yeah. we go. Hey. And if you have wasabi at home or you have something spicy that you want to try with us, this is a dance break to really let out some endorphins and really let out some Anger and hostility in your lives through hot things. Five, four, three, two, one. You feel it? Yeah, no. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's so hot. Mm. 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 Uh, 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 so hot. Okay. <coughs> Did you do it at home with it? <coughs> That makes you cough a lot. <coughs> you know what would be great for this episode? Mm. Just be a fair sport. Why don't you let me break out the other toothbrush? No. What do you? I just did a giant cracker of wasabi. All right. Let me. Can I play the keyboard? And then I you told you we're done with the solidarity on the challenge. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll play. The, let me play the keyboard. You come up with. The, get going on a song. Let me play the keyboard though at the end. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're doing an instrumental one. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna hop on some lyrics, but I guess we're just si signing off. That was just a fun. I was waiting for here, 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 here. Do, do a little, do a little. Something. No, 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 no. Hey, man, we f we follow, we follow the seasons as they come and go. I was waiting. It sounded good though, right? Yeah, I like. Yeah, that was an instrumental intro. We need those. Yeah. Ahead, we want we, we want to send you guys on a 
good vibes for the weekend. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We love you very much. Tell a friend. We love y'all. To all our scissor siblings across the globe, we love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> Are you okay? Uh, my stomach hurts from that. Oh wasabi. my god! Yeah. Do you need a bread or like what? Do you need? Oh, I think I've got milk inside. Milk's gonna help. Yeah, I don't know why this one what? is. Um, usually my stomach's pretty strong on this stuff, but um. Yeah, my stomach's kind of bubbling right now. It's hurting. Mm-hmm. Well, dude, take care of that. I'll help clean up in here. Once you, you got it. I don't want to. I don't want you to get a stomach ache. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and can't believe those bitches didn't come to me once during the show. Talk to Terrence. Terrence is lucky that I already ate my giraffe food, I'll tell you that much. Yep, because the day that I start starving, I'm coming for his ass, even though we're best friends. That's just how it is. Anyway, I hope you guys had a good week. Thanks to everyone who's been getting the new Scissor Bros merch. Y'all are the tits. And like Jeremiah said, he has a new special that's dropping on Monday on his YouTube channel for free. Stand up on the spot in Houston. So go over there at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 7 p.m. Eastern, you know, whatever it is. Hop on that train, boogie boys. Anyway, speaking of trains, uh, I did get into a weird commitment issue thing with an aardvark. And then there's an anteater that was really slurping on my, on my... Well, I can't say... They asked me not to be vulgar on this section anymore, but... Fuck it. This anteater was really slobbing my knob, really going to town... And uh, afterwards, I thought that I had ants on my dick, but turns out, genital herpes. All right. I got to go, guys. I love you, and I hope you're having a good week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.